Hi. In this video, we will continue to create forms. Uh, let's look at our project. We have four tables and we, we created a DMR category form. Now we will create a DMR book category form and we will we will uh, we will uh, install some link to the DMR category to book category table. Let's start. I am adding new item. User interface form. Okay, our form is created. Uh, first, we need to add our data source. I am drag and drop my table to data source. Uh, after that, I need to uh, create design. Uh, I can also uh, apply pattern here, but I don't want to do uh, at this time. I just want to add new grid and uh, let's add new grid. And I need to select this grid data source. And I drag and drop these fields to here. Okay, I create first grid and create new fields. And now it's ready. Let's give a proper name. And maybe a title data source. Okay. Now we, we create our first uh, look, but I need to, uh, I want to add new uh, button to categories also. Uh, so I need to add new action pane. I need to move up and add new action pane tab and new button group. And I want to drag and drop my display menu item to here. Now I have create I created new menu item button, and this will uh, open my DMR category form for me. Uh, let's uh, save and uh, let's create menu item for this form too. Also, it must be display menu item and DMR book category. I need to select my form here. Okay, now it's ready. Let's set up, uh, set a startup obje object and start. Okay, our form is opened and we can see book ID and category ID here. We can select from our books and we can select categories. Uh, we don't have proper category. Let's select drama and we can add new books and new uh, categories from here and we have our uh, tab here if we clicked as you can see uh, because we didn't give a proper uh, label we are seeing uh, default names we will change this also we will change this one too and if I clicked here and you can see it's focused on uh, the category directly. Uh, this happens because we have a, a relation 
to DMR book uh, category to DMR category table. Uh, because of this relation, uh, two forms create autom uh, uh, automatically a relation. We are uh, because of uh, this relation and this uh, active connection, we the record automatically filtered. So let's uh, let's correct our uh, labels and see uh, again. I'm closing this one. It's First, I need to give a label to this one. Let's give a label. Category and Save. Also, let's give this one a label too. Okay. And we need to give labels here too. Caption. We can say general, it's not important. So, let's save and start again. Okay, now we have. Uh, general and we have category it seems okay and we have uh, our forms so in this video we will create uh, a new form and we will uh, dynamically uh, connect two form together and uh, because we have relation in tables uh, forms has a dynamic link to them if we use uh, many items for a button uh, the uh, dynamic link automatically created for us and we didn't write any code for that. Uh, next videos I will show you how to remove this dynamic link because sometimes uh, these dynamic links automatically filters uh, records and you don't want to do that. You don't you want to show all for example all categories but if you do this uh, this dynamic links automatically filters, so you need to remove this uh, dynamic link, and I will show you how to remove this dynamic link from codes and uh, opening form. I hope it was it is helpful, and I will continue to uh, create new forms. Uh, after that, I will create menus, and uh, after that, I will jump into write uh, codes. See you. Bye.